Hi, in today's video, we are going to learn one more method of finding the HCF. And this method is called the division method of finding the HCF. And sometimes it is also referred as the Euclid's algorithm of finding the HCF or GCD. So as you can see, I have already noted down the procedure to find the GCD or HCF using division method, which says divide the larger number by smaller number. If remainder is zero, then divisor is HCF. Otherwise, let the divisor of step one be the dividend now and make the remainder as new divisor. Continue this process till you get remainder as zero and the last divisor will be the HCF, right? So we will understand this method or procedure by solving a problem. So let's try and find GCD of 130 and 150, right? In first step, we have to divide the larger number, which is 150 in this case, by the smaller number. And smaller number is 130, right? So how many times will this 130 divide 150? So let me write the table of 130. For that, I will just repeatedly add 130 to itself. So 130, 130 plus 130 is 260. Yes, I can stop here because this 260 is more than 150. Right? So 130 will divide 150 one times. 130 ones are 130 and if I subtract, I'll get 20 as remainder. So in this case, we are getting remainder as 20, which is not a zero. That means we have to continue this procedure, right? So step number two says, let the divisor of step one be the dividend now. So the divisor in step one was 130 and let me make it the new dividend and this 20 or the remainder will become the new divisor, right? So now I have to divide this 130 by 20, right? So when I divide this 130 by 20, 26 are 120, right? And now I get the remainder as 10, right? And now this remainder will become the new divisor and this 20 this 20 will become the new dividend and now 10 to the 20 and if I subtract I get remainder as 0 right so 10 is the HCF of or GCD of 130 and 150 right so we have got our GCD as 10 so why do we have two methods in earlier method in which we find all the prime factors of numbers will become very clumsy and lengthy when we got larger numbers or bigger numbers, right? Here we have got 130 and 150. These are comparatively smaller numbers and you can use either of the methods to find the GCD of 130 and 150, right? But when you have bigger numbers, then this method come very handy and it is definitely faster than the prime factorization method. But now you can say that this method can be used to find the GCD of only two numbers. But no, you can find the GCD of more than two numbers also using this method. Suppose if you want to find the GCD of 54, 108, 144. and 144. What will be the GCD of these numbers? So when you have more than two numbers, what we do is at random you can select any two numbers and find their GCD. And then you can find the GCD of the third number and the GCD of those two numbers. And that new GCD will be the GCD of all these three numbers, right? And if you have more than three numbers also, then also you can follow this procedure. Suppose if you have number one, number two, number three, and number four. You can find the GCD of these two numbers. Let's call that G1 and you can find the GCD of the last two numbers and call them as G2 and then you can find the GCD of these two numbers and that will be the GCD of all these four numbers. So you can find the GCD in any order. It completely depends on you and now let's find the GCD of these three numbers to get the better understanding of the method to find the GCD of more than two numbers. So in this case, I'm going to take 54 and 108. 54, 2 is 108, 4 to the 8, 5 to the 10, right? 
0. So GCD of these two is 54, right? And now let's find the GCD of 54 and 144. So 54 is a smaller number. It will become the divisor and 144 will become the dividend, right? And 5, 3 is a 15. So it will not divide 144 three times. It will divide it only two times. And 54 twos are is 108 that we have already found. And now if I find the difference between these two, 14 minus 8 will give us 6. 3 minus 0 will give us 3. Right? So we have got 36 over here. And now this 36 will become, yes, the divisor. And 54 will be the new dividend. And 36 will divide it only one times because 36 multiplied by 2 is, yes, 72. Right? So it will divide it only once. 14 minus 6 will give us 8. And 4 minus 3 will give us 1. That is 18. And now this 18 will become the divisor. And 36 will become the dividend. And 18 to the 36. Right? So from here we have found the HCF of 54 and 144 is 18. That means the HCF of 54, 108 and 144 is 18, right? So this is the way we use this method, Euclid's method or Euclid's algorithm to find the GCD of more than two numbers, right? And in our next video, we are going to learn the method to find the LCM. And after that, we'll be solving word problems based on HCF or GCD and LCM. LCM is least common multiple. Right? So, bye-bye till then.